I'm KT Wild. I'm a singer-songwriter from the UK and I've converted this Ford Transit into an off-grid camper van so I can take my music on the road, write with amazing musicians and go to amazing locations and just have an adventure. And this is Ellie, my partner in crime who'll be joining me for parts of the ride. If this sounds like something you're into, make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow along with Wild Adventures. Welcome to week five. This week, Ellie and I have some very deep conversations. Oh. Yeah, we're talking about in holes. We head off to Whitby. We are in Whitby. And I stumbled across a baked potato festival in York and end up singing there. Last night, we found a spot. Did not like that spot because it was super creepy. Creepy um, murder outline thing. Secondly, Someone's phone number. We are in Whitby. Get me on a plane, fly me out, put me in the sky, homeward bound. Got somebody that is waiting there. I'm not lying down, I miss her head. We'll put her on a plane. Getting to see. Paddleboarding. We're going paddleboarding, not swimming. Everything That's on these videos seems to just be sea and water based. I just want to be there holding your hand. Oh, our proximity I'm gone to <laughs> I'm going to reduce it so you're not so far away. Not so far away, damn. Our proximity, it's too far. Clearly we're great paddle boarders and uh, <laughs> haven't ended up in the sea. I like not in the sea. Also, I think that we definitely need to reiterate that this is the North Sea. This isn't like, we're not in Cornwall. We're not in the Mediterranean. We're not wet season. It doesn't matter. I was in Cornwall in my clothes. Do not film me get back on. This is not a repeat of the beach So, hi, welcome to um, paddle boarding um, lesson four. Uh, Re-embarking the vessel. My was not elegant. Oh, uh, proximity gone too far. I'm gonna reduce it so you not so far away. Not so far. To lose control Head underwater Head underwater And sight goes away, nothing good stays That's what they say Then you're six feet under Head underwater Head underwater How to make it all go, this I do not know But it starts today Underwater, head underwater Drop the weight, it's easy Ain't nobody keeping the chain that's holding you down so the past few days, other than going to Whitby with Ellie, have been spent in York, trying my best to do the, the city park up thing, which I don't know if maybe York's just good for it, but it's turned out to be far less stressful than I thought. And this road in particular, near the race course, there's been quite a lot of other van life type folk along here. I actually met uh, a couple that had done a transit exactly the same age, height, size as Rue. So that was fun to see another version of a conversion. But just up there in the trees, you can't, you can't really see it yet, but when we get there, I'll show you. There's this tiny but cute little festival 
called the Baked Potato Festival. And I was walking by, it seems to be run mainly by people who live in vans. I was walking by and I said, what's going, what's going on here then? And asked what was on and said, can I play? And I know it's a small little kitsch thing, but they said yes, so I'm gonna head over and do a, a little tiny half an hour set at the Baked Potato Festival. Let's see what it's like. Best days were in 2004 You say you know for sure oh, But a decade has gone on by since then You missed everything Oh no Let's run some numbers on it You'd be surprised If we ran numbers on it Time is on your side. So there we go. Gig's over. And I think you saw from the footage that it wasn't an easy one. And I want to talk about difficult gigs and the mindset going in and going out. When you go to an open mic night or a gig that you think is going to be difficult, going into it, all I want to do is leave. Every ounce of me is saying that this is going to be embarrassing, you're going to make a fool of yourself, or it's just not worth it. But every single time you go through with it, actually perform it, whether the gig is good or bad in the end, you always feel better for doing it. Much like running, reading. You always feel good after doing a gig. So although that was a really difficult gig, there was a big amount of space and not many people with a very, very small broken-ish amp so going into it you don't want to do it but I met some really nice people and all that footage was filmed by a nice guy I met who offered to film it for me so anyway there you go that is or that was the baked potato festival in York the time is on your side you damn right it's all behind you if only look in me You're damn 